Okay, cooks, it's Wednesday. We are starting to move into the new house. We are not completely moved in by no means, but we had tried a couple weeks ago to fix this cooktop because there's a lot of white marks and staining and scratches and I used Ceramabrite and that didn't work. So I went back to the drawing board. Today we have a few new things that we're gonna try to get these stains out of this cooktop. So join me, it's Wednesday, and let's see what we can do to save this glass cooktop. Okay, to assess the situation, this cooktop has a lot of these scratches in it all over the place. It has this weird white staining on it, if you can see. Look at all those scratches in there. Um, it's pretty much like that on these front two burners. So whoever used this, this is obviously the burners they were using because it's not too bad over here. It's a little... Um, I just use water to clean this out because my Ceramabrite is at the other house. So that is our state and this is our mission. So what I have here is I have a drill. <laughs> I have some buffing pads, buffers. These are Black & Decker buffers for a drill. We have some white diamond metal polish. So this was suggested by a few people, not this brand, but it was suggested by a few people on YouTube that this might work. So we're trying this, right? And I also have some really fine grit sandpaper. So if we totally screw this up, um, we'll really be looking at having to buy a new one, right? But we're gonna give this a, an attempt. So first up, what do we try first, boo? We're gonna try the metal polish. So let me get this buffer set up on this drill. Okay, this buffing kit comes with, oh, that was my ice maker. <laughs> um, this little buffing pad. It actually has some sandpaper. I don't know what grit this is for polishing and sanding. Has this piece and it has this little sponge looking thing. It also comes with this. So we're gonna take this disc and we're gonna put this little cone washer on there and this screw in there. And then we're gonna put this washer on top and we're gonna screw this thing that goes into the drill into here. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna put this little bonnet thing on here. Okay, wrestling it. And we're going to put it in the drill, put it on there, and now we can buff, buff, buff. Whoa. This is going to be hard. Okay. We're going to try this one side first. We're going to put it on there. Wipe a small amount on the surface vigorously with a clean dry cloth until the polish turns dark. Let's stand for one minute and buff. Buff, buff, buff. So you're supposed to put this on here vigorously until it turns dark? Yeah. Oops, I don't want to get it on well, last. because metal is supposed to oxidize. That might be what's going on with metal. I got it on the edge here. Yeah, stainless through here. Till it turns dark? Just keep at it. It may not turn dark, it just depends. <laughs> As you can see, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, we gotta wait one minute. Now, let's buff. Hard right here. 
gonna put a little bit more. Look out. Right in that area. You might need to wipe the counter off. I can only imagine spraying, splattering. Let's see if we're making any progress. Bob for a second, boo. This one could use some buffing. Yeah, so it does look like some of that white yuckiness is going away. It definitely has gone down. So we need to continue the buffing. But um, you can definitely see scratches, uh, but the whiteness does look down. White looks down. What? This is the other one. So let's continue the buff. did what we should have done before is we put a little box up here to keep this from splattering and the buffing continues. The end is near. <laughs> okay. So let's wipe this off and see what it looks like. So, the true question is, is there improvement? I think there was improvement on that other one. I better start up a little prettier. It's too close to call. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> Why, over there you can still see it? No, no, I'm just saying that as it's, as it's getting clearer. This stuff is kind of yucky. Well, we're not exactly using it for its intended purpose. You can kind of see right now it's starting to look a little clean, right? You have a bunch of scratches, obviously. You just don't have that white stuff anymore. The white stuff is down. There's still scratches, but... Oh, there's a ton of scratches. With the white stuff being down, it's not quite as noticeable. Yeah. So let me finish cleaning this up. We'll let Eric finish cleaning this up and we'll be back. So we are much improved. A lot of that white part is gone. Now we're gonna run over the sandpaper, which is... 2,500 grit, I believe. You won't with the finest grit. This is 1015, 2025. Yeah, I'm looking at Rita's boo-boo. Oh. I just grabbed one out of there. You did. You got the finest grit. It's going to have the least amount of damage or the least amount of improvement out of all of them. <laughs> Stuck. Scratch is still there. Still got a bunch of them. I will see if this does anything. There's, there's a lot of scratches in this area. There's a lot of scratches right here. Thank you. That's good. I'm gonna have a sore shoulder, man. <laughs> still got a house to pack, boo boo. I know, we're not done packing. Garage, some pan room, closets. Ugh, we have some more movers coming next Wednesday. All right, you ready for a reveal? Okay. I think some of the circular went away. You had a pretty defined. So it dries, see if it, eh, circular's still there. It's much improved, definitely much improved. 
So I would say... It's worth a try? Yeah, it's worth it. Um, I wouldn't recommend any of these to anybody because I don't know if they'll... It would ruin your cooktop, and I don't want to be responsible for that. But if it's ready for the dump anyway... Yeah, but if it was ready for the dumper... You and you numbers. just want to use, you know, you ain't got nothing to lose. Exactly. You can go for it. I think this is a fairly decent job. I don't think we need to replace this immediately now. I think we've made some serious progress. And um looks pretty decent. There are scratches. There are scratches. But... You can't see him as bad. So I say this was a success. And keep the light off. And keep the light off. <laughs> so what's up? It's Wednesday, Cooks. And um, we did have some success with this. It'll save me a good minimum thousand plus 500 at least to have it put in. So yeah, I think it saved me some money here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, you know, whoever came up with this, I've seen a lot of people do this on YouTube. So whoever initially came up with this, thank you very much. It definitely helped. And it brought us a long way towards um, making this look pretty much acceptable. So those white marks are gone and it left, it left like a dirty haze to it, but now that's gone. So awesome. So what's up cooks? It's Wednesday and um, thanks for joining me. And soon we will be fully moved and Ready to get ready to get back down in the kitchen. I hope you have a great week.